All right, now that we have added the color wheel to our sketchbook, we're gonna learn a little bit more about the color wheel um, and how we're going to use it in our activities this week. All right, last time we were learning about the color wheel, a tool that artists use to better understand colors and help them choose what colors they want to use in their artwork. Um, we were talking about three primary colors. These are the colors that are used and mix together to make all the other colors. And we learned that when you mix two primary colors together, you create a secondary color. Now this is our basic color wheel with just six colors. But we all know that there are way more colors in the world than just these six. So we can take this simple color wheel a step further and divide it up into even more spaces and as a result, more colors. So notice that these spaces are in between the, a primary and a secondary color. That is because these colors will be made by mixing one primary and one secondary color together. And these colors are called tertiary colors. And let's take a closer look at each one of these new colors. So again, each space is going to be made by mixing the primary color and secondary color together that are next to it. So we can start with the red and orange, which creates the tertiary color, red-orange. Moving around, the orange and yellow will combine to make yellow-orange. And you'll see this pattern continue all the way around to yellow-green, blue-green, blue-purple, and finally red-purple. Besides the fact that these tertiary colors are all named after the two other colors that are mixed to create them, Notice that in each one, the primary color name comes first and the secondary color name comes second. For example, blue is a primary color and green is a secondary. So when you mix them together to create a tertiary color, you make blue-green as opposed to it being called green blue And we could keep doing this, right? Combining and mixing different colors together to make even more and more colors. And you might be familiar with some people who do this for a living and whose job it is to continually create new colors. And that would be the people who work for the company Crayola. Not only do they get to come up with a bunch of new colors for all their different art products like markers and paints and crayons, they even have a lot of fun naming them. Crayola has come out with hundreds and hundreds of different colors of crayons over the years, all with their own special name, like Sunset Orange, Mac and Cheese, Inchworm, Asparagus, Mountain Meadow, Aquamarine, Indigo, Purple Mountain Majesty, Pink Flamingo, Cotton Candy, and Tickle Me Pink, to name just a few. You might remember um, back in 2017, their most recent new crayon color was released, um, and it was called Blutiful. Now, the people at Crayola certainly have a lot of fun with all their colors and naming their colors, and so we're going to get in on this, and we're going to create some of our own, too. So, as part of the activities this week, you are going to be creating your very own new color. And to do that, we're going to be using a website. It's called TryColors, T-R-Y, colors.com. I'll put it up here on the screen, but I'm also going to add a direct link on my website so it's really easy for you guys to get to. Um, in a couple of minutes, I'll show you what that website looks like and how we're going to use it. But basically, um, just as if you were working at Crayola, you're coming up with a brand new color, and you can even come up with a fun name for that color too. So let me show you how it works over at TryColors.com. All right, so I'm going to show you on my iPad, but whatever device you have, you're going to get on and you're going to type in try, T-R-Y, colors.com and hit enter. All right, and this is what you're going to see. Now you have all these little um, color circles at the bottom. You can click them, mess around with them. I'm just going to click each one. Now if I click each one, it doesn't make a very pretty color, so I can hit this reset button over here and that is going to get me back to where I started. All right, and you can click the colors more than once too. So I can click this a bunch of times. Let's say I don't like that. See that minus that shows up after I've clicked it underneath? I can click that away. 
and change it all around. So really experiment and play with this, okay? Um, so I'm gonna start thinking about what color I wanna make, so I'm gonna hit reset again. And I wanna make a purple, so I need to start with like a red and a blue, right? That's gonna make purple, but I don't really like that purple. I wanna make it a little more interesting, so I'm gonna kinda of play around with some other blue and red colors. Um, that definitely made it too light. I'm just gonna kinda keep clicking and adding. Remember, I can always take it away with those minuses underneath. All right, let's see if I add a little white. Nice, all right. I think I'm happy with that one. All right, so now that I have my new color, I'm then going to make a recipe card for this color. All right, so you can either use the recipe um, card that I put on my website and print it off, or you can make one of your own. I'm just gonna have it here on my iPad so that I can just flip back and forth easily to show you. So here's the recipe card. It says recipe of my new color. Um, and the first thing I need to do is come up with a color name. So I'm gonna come up with Purplelicious. Um, remember Crayola had a ton of fun naming their colors, so have a little fun with this too. All right, now I need to do my ingredients. So you'll see that each of the colors down here match the colors on the Tricolors website, and they're in those little circles just like before. So my first ones are yellow and red, so I have zero yellow and two red. So I'm going to add that to my recipe card, zero and two. Next two colors, I'm just doing it by two just to go a little faster. I got one pink and two of the dark blue. So making special note of which blue. One pink, two dark blue, switch back. All right, one light blue and zero green parts. Add that in. And if you're printing this out, then you don't have to flip back and forth. You can just look at your screen and just write it directly from there. Last one white and zero parts black. Now that I have this recipe card, oh, and of course, created by and put your name at the bottom. So I'm gonna put Miss Needenthal. Um, now that you have this recipe card, you can always recreate the special color, the special new color you created. So you can continue to do this if you wanna make more recipe cards and more um, new and fun colors. But I'm also gonna show you um, how to play a game, so make sure that you look out for that video as well. 